Hello everyone, Jules Kroskamp here from Team Infinity and today in this video I want to talk about how I prepare a rubber tire for my touring car. Um, if the rubber tire comes new out of the package, uh, some things has to be done before you can go, go on the track and uh, in this video I want to show you um, what I do. Um, as you can see I have a tire truer here, a weight scale, uh, cutter, glue and um, in the next few minutes I want to show you uh, what I do uh, to, uh, to go out there with a new tire and uh, to be prepared. So the first uh, example for the tire, this is a Volante tire and um, first I will open the package and I first just visual check the tire if uh, the gluing is correct so, uh, from the outside and also the inside and uh, you push a little bit with your thumb and check if the gluing is correct. All four tires now are checked on the gluing and if you're not 100% sure you can still put a little bit of glue around just to make sure. Now the next step is um, the middle line of the rubber tire. Um, the middle line really depends on the brand of the tire. Uh, Volante, for example, have a quite thick middle line. Uh, other tire like Sweep, Matrix or Sorex are a little bit more thin here. This is an example of a Sweep tire and you can see the middle line is much thinner. With a thick middle line, I suggest to use a cutter and you simply cut most of the rubber in the middle of. Another way to remove the middle line when you have a thick middle line is to use a nail cutter. You simply push and you can cut off middle line quite easily. Sometimes it helps to use a little bit of additive on the tire to make the tire more soft. Also in cold conditions, the rubber goes off more easy than in hot conditions. This can only be used when the middle line is thick, like on a Volante tire. After I remove the middle line, I suggest still to use a tire sander. And uh, there are two reasons to use a tire sander. The first reason is to check the tire is round and is in balance. Pre-glued tires sometimes are not perfectly glued and uh, therefore they are sometimes wobble and are not round. So in this case with the tire sander you can check if the glue is done properly and the tire is uh, round enough to dry. And by the sound of it you can hear if the tire is round or not round. Second reason to use a tire sander is to perfectly finish to take off the middle line. And this I do with a file and I let the tire spin and gently push the file towards the middle line. And now the tire is, uh, is ready. Now the middle line is cut off properly and uh, this really will help your first laps on the track with the fresh tires. Another thing I strongly recommend is to uh, weight the tire before you go out. And this is a SMJ weight scale and uh, it can weight your tire up to a hundred of a gram. For example, this tire weighs 32.2 gram. This tire weighs 32.3 gram. It's a minor difference, but it means that the heavier tire has a bigger insert inside. You can assume the wheel weight is exactly the same and the tire weight is exactly the same. So the weight difference is purely in the insert and the insert makes the air gap. In this case, the harder tire has a little bit less air gap and it can also change the balance of the car. So in an ideal world, I would like to have four tires who are exactly the same weight. So therefore I suggest to uh, normally use the harder tire a little bit in the front and the softer tire in the rear. Uh, the softer tire or the lighter tire has normally a little bit more, more air gap and it's more easy to drive. So therefore you have a little bit more traction in the rear with a lighter tire. 
Thank you again for watching my video. I hope this was helpful for you and uh, see you again soon.